Latest reports indicate that the community of collectors has rediscovered their interest in the vintage pickup trucks. Therefore, their prices keep rising, and the new restoration workshops keep popping up all over the place. Today we're bringing you up to speed with the latest resto mods in the industry. Most iconic trucks are giving a new life, and we would like you to witness the miracle of their resurrection. So subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring that notification bell not to miss the upcoming reviews of classic cars, and enjoy the ride! Velocity Signature Ford F100 Velocity Restoration's lineup already includes such loud names as Ford Bronco, F250, Mustang, and Chevy Blazer. But starting from 2023, the company is joining the F100 Resto Mod game. Their build starts with a custom Roadster Shop chassis fitted with a 9-inch rear axle from Ford, independent front suspension, and Fox coilover shocks. The truck also rides on 18-inch alloy wheels that house 13-inch 4-caliper bare brakes and wear Michelin tires. Other exterior highlights include glass red paint, chrome accessories, JW speaker LED headlights, and Raptor liner bedliner. Propulsion is handled by the third-generation Ford Coyote V8 with a 5-liter displacement. The smell gives the 60-year-old truck 460 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, and it comes paired to the 9-speed automatic, also from Ford. Velocity offers their F100 in two modifications, Signature plus a more expensive and exclusive street edition. The latter adds upgraded suspension, six-piston brake calipers, two-tone paintwork, mismatched 19 and 20-inch forge line wheels, plus a custom interior wrapped in leather. Both models feature a modern cabin with AC heating, premium audio with Bluetooth, and Dakota digital gauges created exclusively for velocity restorations. Kindred Motorworks Chevy 3100 The first EV truck from the California-based company Kindred Motorworks is based on the Chevrolet 3100, manufactured between 1947 and 1953. Kindred invested over 10,000 hours of designing and prototyping to carefully blend the model's vintage looks with a modern tech. The iconic Chevy retains most of the original exterior, keeping a split windshield, large rectangular grille with five thick chrome slats, narrow front opening hood, and of course its trademark drop-shaped fenders. The truck's chassis was fully reworked, featuring a double wishbone front suspension. While the standard equipment list includes four-wheel power disc brakes, electric rack and pinion steering, LED lighting, and marine crate waterproof cargo floor. The cabin gets custom leather upholstery, a touchscreen with smartphone connectivity, and air conditioning. On the power front, Kindred technicians chose to combine a 294 horsepower direct drive electric motor located on the rear axle with a 74 kWh battery pack. The latter should be enough to drive up to 200 miles, while the recharge will take up to 9 hours, which is a courtesy of the standard. 6.6 kW onboard charger. Vigilante 4x4 1966 Jeep Gladiator With 20 years of experience in restoration of classic Jeep models, Daniel and Rachel Van Daveren saw an opportunity in the resto mod market. They established Vigilante 4x4 to create ultimate retro-style Jeeps with the original restored bodywork and re-engineered underpinnings. For this Gladiator model, Vigilante starts with 3D scanning of the 1966 chassis, perfecting it through the computer-aided design and recreating it using thicker 5mm steel. Before the final assembly, the chassis also goes through sandblasting, powder coating, and cavity coating. The restored Gladiator gets a new suspension setup featuring four-link suspension with adjustable coil springs from iBuck and Fox 2.0 shocks for controlling the newly installed Dana heavy-duty axles. The perfectly restored body rides on 17-inch wheels with six-piston bare brakes and for the headlights adopts LED lighting units. To make sure the truck is up for any task, the original engine was replaced with a new drivetrain setup. Rated for 485 horsepower, 
the 6.4-liter SRT8 V8 engine is paired with a 6-speed manual from Tramac, 2-speed transfer case and 4-wheel drive. Alternatively, buyers can opt for a 6.2-liter supercharged Hellcat V8 or a 9-liter V10, delivering 707 and 825 horsepower respectively. The cabin of the Gladiator is reupholstered using leather, alcantara and wool. There is a new old clock, modern gauges and Bluetooth audio. Roadster Shop Ali Blue Underpinned by the new Legend Series platform, this build opens a new chapter for the Illinois-based company. The new setup is claimed to be Roadster's most advanced and complete full rolling chassis, compatible with any K5 placer donor manufactured between 1969 and 1980, or with any Chevy C10 built between 1973 and 1980. This particular pickup is a 1979 C10 fitted with a GM-sourced IFS suspension. It gets a GM front differential and axle shafts, Fox 2.5 factory series adjustable front coilovers, and rear leaf springs from d Spring with Fox 2.0 performance series shocks. The standard package also includes 13-inch front and 12-inch rear disc brakes from Silverado, a tubular front sway bar and stainless brake line package. Optionally, you can add satin black powder coating for the chassis, a hitch receiver with air ride and 17-inch billet wheels. Roadster Shop offers two drivetrain options for this platform. The one featured in this build is a naturally aspirated LT1 6.2-liter crate engine rated at 460 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. There is also the option of a supercharged LT4 V8 that cranks out 650 horses and 650 pound-feet of twist. The simplest way to make us create videos about retro cars on a regular basis is by leaving a comment asking for more. You can also smash the like button and stick around till the end. Let's proceed. King Defender Yeti Edition this D130 custom build is based on a 1990 short box donor, which is extremely hard to find. And even these two that King Defender managed to scrape together were in a terrible state. The soon-to-be Yeti edition started with a full frame of restoration, where every part was inspected, reconditioned and repainted. King Defender chose diamond white metallic for the exterior, but contrasted the latter with a glass black grill from Con Grill and a black roof. The stock Land Rover V8 engine was restored as well, and then bored out to a 3.9-liter displacement. Unfortunately, King Defender does not specify to what extent the powertrain modifications boost the original's 134 horsepower output, so at this point the HP parameters for the Yeti remain unknown. Its cabin, though, can be fully seen, and it gets a custom black leather upholstery coupled with red trimming on the seats. King Defender also installed a Puma dashboard, a rear-view camera, power windows, a Pioneer sound system, air conditioning, and LED lighting. Icon Old School TR No. 21 Jonathan Ward of California's Icon 4x4 is a fan of retro pickups but as many others, he cannot stand the experience of driving an old farm truck. Consequently, the body of this 1954 Chevy Thriftmaster 3100 conceals true sports car underpinnings and high-performance components. The original shell was fully restored, painted, and mounted onto the Art Morrison chassis. The ride is precise and responsive thanks to the rack pinion steering, independent front suspension, 4-link solid rear axle and coilover shocks on all four corners. Traditionally, to power this old-school Chevy, Icon installs the aluminum fuel-injected 6.2-liter General Motors LS V8 crate engine and mates it with a 5-speed TKO Tramac manual or a GM 4-speed automatic with overdrive. 430 horsepower generated by this mill, 
are stopped by the Hydro Boost assisted Sport Brembo brakes. The TR number 21 sports a beautiful burgundy Nubuk leather interior with contrast stitching. Windows are electronically operated and the camp and environment can be adjusted with an AC. A high-end digital sound system is hidden underneath the bench seating, not to disturb the retro feel of the cabin. And the bed is equipped with gorgeous light oak wood panels put together without screws or nails. Gateway Bronco Ford F-350 Godzilla Crew Cab After obtaining a license from Blue Oval to restore classic F-Series trucks, Gateway Bronco were also granted access to modern Ford powertrains. The Godzilla project started with the reconditioning of a 1972 Ford F-350. The truck had fresh Miami blue and Wimbledon white paintwork, 1967-style grille, chrome bumpers, and a barn wood bed floor. Looking under the skin helps better understand the price tag that Gateway put on the Godzilla. The restored F-350 rides on a lifted suspension with massive Dana 60 and Dana 80 axles front and rear, Bilstein shock absorbers, and 20-inch method wheels wrapped in Maxxis Racer empty tires, measuring 40 inches. Gateway Bronco also fitted Ford's 7.3-liter Godzilla V8 engine and installed the Harrop USA supercharger on top. The V8 is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission and is claimed to crank out over 1,000 horsepower. As for the vintage whiskey leather interior, it got a few modern touches. For example, the body-colored steel dashboard was restored and was fitted with a digital instrument. Similarly, there is a stereo with Bluetooth connectivity and air conditioning. Fuss Design Chevy C28 To make this Chevy into a sport truck that never was, Chip Fuss took an original, never-modified 1967 C10 and matched it with a 1967 C28 small-block engine from Chevrolet Camaro. Chip spent five years looking for an appropriate C28, as he wanted to find a car that was in perfect condition and required minimal intrusions. Though the truck still had the original paint, it was repainted in BASF 22-line glass red white, and the new fuss designed wheels were installed. Tires were also replaced with the high-end Pirelli rubber. Finally, the exterior updates were finished with the installation of modified Camaro bumpers to give the C28 a sportier look. To accommodate the new 5-liter engine, the company installed a custom center force clutch, new flywheel, and a 5-speed transmission from Bowler. They also added modified Magnaflow C10 exhaust. For improved on-road handling, the pickup received new Hotchkiss suspension and new Master Power brakes discs. Finally, to replicate the 1960s interior, Chip opted for orange cloth upholstery from the truck shop. Dodge Power Wagon being 40-plus years old, the team of North Carolina's Desert Power Wagons continues to play with cars and trucks. Their favorite toy was originally manufactured by Dodge all the way back in 1940s, but nearly all parts of the original have been replaced. The stock cab was stretched to create a four-passenger crew cab body. It is mounted on a customized power-coated frame with robust axles and an upgraded suspension. The latter includes a 2.5-inch lift, an adaptable track bar, front coil springs, rear leaf springs, and remote reservoir shocks on all sides. This truck rides on 20-inch method wheels, paired with 40-inch Aturo Trailblade Boss Mud Terrain tires. Unlike the majority of Restomod builders, Desert Power Wagons do not use crate engines from GM. Instead, they chose to go for a modern Cummins 6.7-liter turbo diesel inline 6 also installed on the Ram 2500 pickups. It is paired with a 6-speed automatic, 4-wheel drive, and shift on the flight transfer case. Inside, the leather-wrapped cabin of this truck is a close match to the horned counterparts from Stellantis. So the dashboard features a large vertical 12-inch infotainment with wireless smartphone compatibility, navigation, and a Wi-Fi hotspot.
New Legend RT1 Scout Terra. New automotive legends are composed by a progressive team from Iowa, who gradually evolved from a small supplier of parts for international scouts into what is believed as the best scout resto mod shop in the world. The latest addition to the New Legends lore is the RT1, the first scout Terra to be restored under the Retro Series product line of the company. This pickup is built on the original frame of the 1976 Terra without cutting any corners. The resto mod follows the team's philosophy called real steel, meaning that the original IH steel is used as much as possible to fully restore the body. The crate engine for this project was sourced from Cummins. It is an R2.8 turbo diesel that generates 161 horsepower, 310 pound-feet, and is made it with the Tramec TR4050 5-speed manual transmission. New Legend equips the RT1 with an overland kit straight out of the doors of the shop. It includes a KC light bar, expanded 30-gallon fuel tank, a Leitner rear roof rack system with a hard shell tent, and an Atlas II transfer case to cover off-road tasks. Would you like to see more modern pickup trucks that possess retro designs but just came out of the factory? If so, then follow the link on the screen. Before you go, make sure to smash the like button and ask for more reviews of retro vehicles by leaving a comment below. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell not to miss the upcoming videos, and as always, may the torque be with you!